All right, everybody, welcome back to a new video. We are here today with Dork Unit by special request of Bravin here. Uh, he went ahead and requested in the uh, comments that we go ahead and play this game. It's not something I would normally play. It is a hacksaw game. The hacksaw games are terribly expensive, but if you watched yesterday's video, you know we have a couple of extra coins to use, so I decided to take advantage of that, go ahead and play this today. There are two different versions of the bonus that we'll get into. Uh, first, we're going to see if we can spin our way into a bonus using our free gold coins you get for signing up over at stake.us. There is a link in the description as always below I know I featured this once before in a compilation video uh, I don't know how popular it would be or not so I just decided not to use it so you can see there are three different ways we can spin we're gonna go ahead and start off with our feature spins to see if we can spin our way into a bonus using the uh, extra bonus feature here we'll just do 10 more spins that'll give us the 20 that we normally do uh, the two features are you get three or more wilds on the screen goes into a uh, secondary feature game or you can get three or more of the dorks on the screen I think I, you can only get three dorks on the screen and uh, then you go into the dork game uh, again it's just a matter of which one to get into we will try both uh, you'll understand what I mean when I see these games are expensive if you didn't see the screen before uh, everything is gonna be at the base 50 coin uh, buy in here because uh, unfortunately when you play on the free coin side of this game it is not something you can turn the amount down on like you can on the pay side uh, it's just the way it is I don't know why Hacksaw does that it would be far more enjoyable to be able to play for less and I would play their games a lot more often but it's the way they have it set up and that is okay because it's their games to play with so you can see we have two different games here, Gift Danza and Dork Spins. They both have medium volatility. One is 5,000 coins every game. One is 10,000 coins every game. And again, these are the minimums. So we'll start out with a Gift Bonanza for 5,000 coins. So we're going to get three gifts on the screen. Not exactly the greatest of placements. Uh, basically what happens is you get three hearts every time you get a uh, spin where you get a box you get a heart back when you get all three spins where you did not get a heart uh, get another multiplier rather to refill your hearts you uh, end, the, end the game it's pretty simple <clears throat> now those different colored boxes like that orange one there those are the ones you're looking for because those have the really high multipliers in it ideally what we're looking for then is another wild symbol in the second spot of the first row like a guaranteed hit every spin. You get a wild on this spin, or the game's over. Game's over, just like that. And we won 1,500 coins on that spin. 1,530 overall. Not bad for a 5,000 coin game. This is Hacksaw, though. Hacksaw is very expensive. And is, uh... Really, it's a, it's a hit or miss. If you win, you win big. If you lose, you tend, tend to lose big. So we're going to go on to the 10,000 coin option, which is the Dork Spins. You get Tiny Timmy, Long Lenny, and Hefty Hector. Uh, the bigger they are height-wise, the more they're worth. But first, you have to land one on the screen in order to get the Dorks to begin with. There's one. So that is going to be a persistent Dork on the screen every single turn. Uh, whether or not it's the, it's the same one every time is, a, is entirely... Uh, you know, unknown, it'll pop up with whichever one it wants. <clears throat> there you go, there's a hefty Hector, and we get the fourth column, which is nice. This is a little bit more consistent, especially when you get a setup like this. Would be ideal, of course, to get the third dork in the middle there. Get uh, You can only get them on columns two, three, and four. So getting that middle column there filled in would certainly help, but we get five spins left like this, which isn't the end of the world for sure. I mean, even with just having the 2x there, getting cherries all the way across is a nice little hit. We do have potential to get coins back if we get the right symbols to line up here. Maybe get a long lenny to pop in. <clears throat> Strawberries would be nice. There we go. We got lemons going across. That's not too bad with the 5x. So 750 coins. We get two spins left to go. We get Hefty Hector in the house. And we get a long lenny or two on the final spin here. Just to be able to see one of them. Nope, sure can't. Plus, we don't get any connection at all. And if you ever want to know how to turn 10,000 coins into 5,000, that's how you do it. Let's take those 5,000 coins. Go ahead and bring that back over here to the Gift of Bonanza bonus bag. 
I mean, ideally, you're looking for the gifts to be up front, not in the back end like they have been. Hopefully, one of these will be able to go ahead and pick that up in the front end of the bonus here. We're down to our last spin here. We need a gift box to come up and save the bonus. There it is. There's a three X up front. A couple three X's and a wild symbol. Sort of overkill. Could have spaced those out a little bit more. Got a lot more spins out of them. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I am still a little stuffed up, so bear with me. Jack's up top going to be nice because it goes all the way across to the end there. That's a full line. Those three X's down the bottom right are nice looking, but you're going to have to get real lucky to get those to connect all together on something. All right, we're now, again, our last chance here to be able to reset the hearts. We need one more wild box up here. Anywhere on the screen will do. And we do not get it, unfortunately, and we don't get much of a connection on this one either, so we're going to end up at just about half back of where we started, maybe a little bit more. 2,700 coins, give or take. Yeah, that's not bad for 5,000 coins going in. We're going to do one more of those, then we'll jump back over to more dork spins, and hopefully one of these hits while we're playing. <coughs> Again, you can see why I started off with such a high amount of coins. This time we get the three X and two, wild, two wilds up front. That's much nicer because that guarantees hits every single spin. So hopefully we can keep this one going for a while. And of course, premium symbols dropping in will be nice as well. There you go, get a bunch more wells dropping in there. Recess the heart floors without even having to go to the last spin. And as you can see, that queen up there in that top row, that is going to complete an entire line. So now we have a line of aces across the top with the two three X's involved. Really would love to see a, a, a fruit of some sort drop in there. This is our last chance to get saved. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, and we get an, another ace popping in there. So, again, that's going to give us a little over half, maybe 3,000 coins towards where we were. <clears throat> 2870. Yeah, we, we're sort of running around the half mark no matter which game we play. Uh, but, again, it's just a matter of time. While these games can be very painful to play, they are also very profitable if they go well. I would really appreciate it, however, if we're playing these games and this is the sort of thing that you enjoy. If you would take a moment, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help the channel out here. It lets me know that these are things that you enjoyed. It lets YouTube know that it's a quality game that it should probably tell other people about as well. And of course, I upload every single day. So if you're subscribed, you never miss an upload, which is definitely a win for both of us. You get to see things that you like, and I get to continue doing this for people that enjoy watching what I do. <coughs> so far, only having the one dork in that fourth column really isn't helping out here. We get three spins left. Only have 200 coins won. But love to fill in that middle one. We get the second and fourth one again, which sort of worked out okay. Oh, that's a big connection with a 14x on the cherries there. I thought the cherries went all the way across, but 2,100 coins. Two spins left to go. Hector up front. Little guy over on the bottom right there. I forget what his name was. Strawberries, strawberries, strawberries. Didn't get the strawberries all the way, but I think that is top symbol. That's 12,500 coins. Finally, we're up into a profit buy on one of these. In fact, it's enough to, I think, give us a three times our buy at 15,000 coins. <coughs> So let's go ahead and see if we can recreate that sort of win over here on the uh, the gift bonanza one more time. And this will probably be the last bonus buy of the video regardless. Nice little setup on the bottom line there with a 3 and a 4x in a row guaranteeing us hits. Looking for premium symbols in that bottom left sign there. <coughs> Actually, it looks like either the bottom of either bottom two will connect with the three and the four. Yeah. 
Nice of the four extra drop in there and save us, and I think that does complete a line. So that should give us the four extra three X and the four X. Yes, it sure does. So we now have three spins at least with a four three and four X connection. We'll see if we have it on that ace down the bottom there. Can we get a carrot or something in there? Lemon, lemon's nice. Lemon work. Once again, last spin, unless we get saved by another wild uh, multiplier. <coughs> we did not get saved. Should get us well over 3,000, however. 3,600 is not a bad place to be. I'm starting to lose it a little bit, so I'm going to call the video there. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you want to see a particular game played. I'll see you all in the next video.